Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. In the last episode, I managed to get iron production under control again, so I'm producing enough of it to keep my hungry, hungry factory satisfied. But then I noticed I was getting attacked quite a bit, so I thought, right, it's time to go out and take the fight to the biters. The other reason I'm doing this is because there's quite a lot of big ore patches outside um, the area I've managed to claim so far, and so if I'm going to be able to get out there before I run out of iron, I need to do something about the biters before they grow too much. So, without further ado, let's get started. Collect up all of this stuff. So it'll probably despawn if I don't. Or <laughs> maybe maybe that counts as going off, not despawning, I don't know. So okay, let's put in another row of um, dragon's teeth. There we go, nice pretty. Um, and another pair of turrets because apparently the number I've got isn't enough. Right. Ammunition supply looks very healthy now, that's good. How, how, how full is the belt? Not full yet, but yeah, filling up much, much faster than it's being used. Good, because I'm going to start stealing a lot of ammunition off it now in order to take the war to the biters. I've run out of, run out of turrets again because I've placed them all. Or five. I kind of feel like using long reach is cheating for this sort of thing, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. Uh, oh, that's aggroed those biters. I'm back over here. Kite, 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 kite. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Now while they're, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say while they're um. Supplies of troops are a bit depleted. I'll, I'll come over here and take out the bases, but apparently I'm not going to. Let's do that again. Now I've got my turrets building. Kite the biters. If I come over here. Turret. Ammo. Oh, it's in range of the worms. These things are quite tough when you've only got <laughs> normal ammunition. I'm used to attacking these with, well, ideally uranium ammunition, and then they go. Th I can go through them like a hot knife through butter, but. But with box standard ammunition, it's a bit harder. Ah, oh, there's acid there, that's why. Ah, no, no. Ah, oh, well, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, um, not really dressed for that. Did I, did I invent any sorts of armour yet? Yes, I've got light armour, which is iron plate. That, I should have really been wearing light armour. To be honest, I didn't really intend to get in on the... Um, combat myself <laughs> but it just sort of yeah I got carried away or too brave or something equally stupid right um oh have I lost all those turrets have I lost all those turrets or do they get is my bag okay is it oh okay I can reclaim all of the stuff I was carrying that's quite nice although it is all down there of course out, way outside my um what's the safe submachine gun that takes a while I did take out one of their um, nests, though, so it wasn't a complete waste of waste of effort, but it was a rather poor showing. Uh, let's have some armour as well. Okay, good. I don't get any pockets. No, I don't. Okay. So, I suppose, in theory, I could approach from the other side and take out the other... Oh, no, it got me straight off. I thought I was supposed to be able to dodge that stuff as long as I didn't... I thought, as long as you didn't keep running in a straight line, you were supposed to be able to dodge the um, spitter goo. Apparently not. Maybe that's only if you're um, moving at car speed, and I don't have, I'm not going to have a car for, for ages. Ah, oh, I didn't pick up enough resources for turrets either, and I didn't go and loot, loot my corpse. Um, fortunately, I can do that from here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's see. If I put that there, and give it some ammunition. Okay, so that one's there to protect it from any other biters that come running in. That there, it's going to be able to... Problem is, I'm pretty sure the spitters outrange the t my turrets. So I need to whack one in really close and then it's going to get attacked by everything but hopefully it'll do some good while it's there. No, it'll just get blown up. Why is it not attacking that base? I don't know. Oh, oh no, I'm under attack down south as well. What are they, what are they eating? Oh, I was going to say, leave me, <laughs> leave me alone for long enough for me to Deal with one issue at a time. Uh, oh, I thought that first alert sound was um, was my one of my turrets going. I didn't realise they were attacking down here as well. Right. Um, hmm. Little sods. So they came in through the gap there. Well, that was something. Uh, oh, no. Down here. <laughs> what? You're on the inside already, mate. Why are you attacking it? Stop that. Okay. So I guess that means. Next, I'm going to have to go and deal with them. They don't have any worms. That's going to be a lot easier. Since I'm down here, let's get them. I don't expect you to get attacked very much. Let's give you a little bit of ammunition. Are my other two turrets equally damaged? Repair those before I go into battle with them. 
So, um, two turrets here. Bite a kiter. Okay, I was hoping for more than that, to be honest. Let's try and get them all, shall we? There we go, that's better. Run them all up here. Grab that turret. Whack them in there. Give them ammunition. Start repairing them. Doing well. Excellent. That was how it was supposed to go. That, yeah, it was just my turret being attacked. Okay, that's alright. Okay, so that's, that's that base dealt with. Now I can come back up to the top one. Oh, weapon shooting speed finished. Let's get another um, minor military thing. Uh, minor military improvement. Like, is that damage? No, I want dam damage. There we go. Start research. <laughs> so this this is the patch that I'm doing all this over. This patch of Jiva Light. Because um, apparently it's rather it's rather a dense patch, so it should last me for ages. Uh, that's a lot of biters. Come here. A few at a time, please. <laughs> that's about right. Okay, so it seemed the ideal number of these things was one, because then I can actually keep it repaired, and I can repair this faster than they can destroy it. Like that. There we go. Right. I fully accept that using long reach to take out um, biter nests is a bit cheesy. It's not entirely cricket, should we say. But that said... This game, <laughs> with this mod pack, this game's hard enough as it is, so I don't feel too guilty about it, really. So where shall I build a cr my wall across? I think the best thing to do would be to go across here and across here. Yes, because that gets me... That's just one sort of row to... Yeah, one nice straight line to defend, and then round here is protected by the, um, by the cliffs. I obviously also need something down the bottom here, because I got attacked, although that might have been from this base here, which I destroyed. So then perhaps I should have another wall coming all the way across here, perhaps, if I've got enough. Um, let's worry about the top side for now, but I think I should now be fairly safe from attack. So, okay, I'm the, this, this base and this base are going to keep attacking my uh, eastern flank, but that's quite well defended now. Um, I need to run the ammo belt down there, but basically it's quite well defended. So I think it, things may calm down a bit now. Okay, I can go from this cliff, and come over here, another line from... Yeah, that was slightly less good free handling. That was terrible. Maybe like that. Now the question is, do I actually build up proper defences and turrets and things along there, or do I wait until the uh, the biters attack and find out where they're drawn to, and then worry about it? I think I probably should build up proper defences really, because otherwise I'm going to have what what I had a few minutes ago where they burst through. I don't realise because I'm busy doing something else. And then the first, the first I find out about it is when all my miners or my furnaces are getting eaten. Okay, so carry on with this belt up here. Grab these turrets because they're not needed anymore. And the inserts as well. Is that even a straight line? Yes, it is. It's just because the way they're drawing on the cliffs. Okay. Right, so I want to have a gun, gun turret. So they are just about covering each other. Right, so there. That's a good distance apart, I think. So it means any point where a biter gets up close to the wall... There's going to be at least two turrets shooting at them. Um, except here. <laughs> Can I build more turrets? We've got another two. Okay. Is this a passable cliff? Yes, it is. But only down here. Okay, I've not got quite as far as I was hoping to. But that's not too bad. And I have to admit, that does make me feel pretty safe up here. These ones are doing absolutely fine. The wall's unscathed, so that means the turrets do currently have enough firepower to prevent the biters getting any closer. Good. That one down there needs doing, and I need to build a Jeeva light mine and then learn all about ore sorting. A bit like I did with the, um, um, the, 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 the Bobmonium. In fact, having the um, Jeeva light mine may well be enough to just completely eliminate the need for both the um, steratite and the sapphirite mining, because it's going to be producing both coal, uh, both iron and copper in what's not too bad a ratio at the moment. It's so um, two iron to every one copper. It might not be enough iron actually, but I can always stockpile the copper to an extent. Um, there's still 300,000 of that sapphirite left though, so that's going to give me plenty of resources while I move out and start mining from this patch. Okay, so I think the next thing to do is to run the ammo belt down down to these bottom, uh, these southeast turrets, because if I don't do that then I'll forget about it completely and then they'll get eaten. So I'm going to need a lot of 
belts for that. I'm running out of underground belts as well. I've got plenty of splitters though. So this... Okay, I'll nip out there and pick up that these um, alien artifacts while I'm, uh, while I'm here. So this needs to go down here under all of this stuff. Oh, can I build landfill yet? No. I can research landfill. Let's do that instead. How's my science production doing? Is it going faster than science consumption? It is. That probably means I should build some more science labs. What are all these things? Electrolyzer. I wish it would tell you a bit more about what the things do. I mean, I, okay, I know what a distillery does really, but I don't know what it does in this mod pack. And it'd be nice to have an idea and think, oh yeah, that's useful for the... I suppose it works the other way around, really. I realise I need, I want, I want something, I need to build something. So I go and look up the recipe in um, FNEI, and that'll tell me how, what I need to build it, and um, and what, where, what sort of buildings I need to build it in as well. So it'll be entirely sort of reactive rather than proactive. I'll pick up new, new machines and new um, facilities as, as I need them, rather than researching them, going, oh, this looks fun. What does this do? These basic pylons are rubbish. So I can now build this down here. Down there. Need to go in one for this. Then I can go underneath that pipe. Like that. Come down. Down here like this. Over here. I can't get around there. So I wait for landfill to finish researching. And down here. Underneath this pipe. I can wait for landfill. Right, okay. So I was right. They are trying to come around the top side of this. Oop. All the belt's gone. Do I have any turrets? I don't have any turrets. I need some turrets. Do I have the stuff to make turrets? Of course I don't. I need copper. There's there's some copper, I think. Yes, that's copper. Excellent. In fact, having some basic circuits as well is probably a good idea. Sounds like a thing that'd be I'd find useful. Build some more turrets. Oh. I should also make turret production as well, really. <laughs> a number of them I'm making. Although without um without having bots to um bring it all out to me when I need it. It's not that useful. It just means a lot of running around, picking up the... It means a lot of running backwards and forwards, picking up the particular supplies I need at any given time. Like now, when I've run out of belts, for example, I have to go all the way over here and grab those. Okay, granted, long reach helps a lot with that. I'm not going to deny that, but it's still... For, for anything that's getting built down here, down at the bottom, like these miners, when I needed some more of those, it was a long walk down to grab them. And I'd rather not have to do that, but that just means I have to get bots researched, and that's a long way off at this point. <laughs> okay, four turrets should be plenty for that. I know I got left two. Let's do the ghost thing down here again. One there. And yeah, okay, one there is quite a good place for it. Right, now I've got that, that landfill. I can come along here, fill in there. Put in there. Oh, um, that's what you do there as well. There we go. Now that can flow down here and fill up all of that stuff. What else are I doing? Oh, yeah, I was trying to get warehouses at one point. Or silos. Mm, they're a bit specific, aren't they? Because they're silos for the actual ore, not the. Um, let's do. Let's get warehouses because they they may be bigger. They're probably more expensive, but they will at least um, hold anything I want to put in them. <laughs> I must have forgotten to pick up one of those turrets. I suppose I can remove those. Let's just leave them there as an emergency backup on the defence, I suppose. Um, it's not like they're in the way. So my next trick is probably going to be to get the Jeeva light from this patch over here and start refining that. Oop, here comes an attack. Where are they going? Oh, up to that way. I can see how they might split fairly evenly and why some of them are going down the south side, though. Yep, that was nice. That's a lot of trees. Okay, let's make some grenades so I can get through those trees. I'm running out of... Every... No, I'm running out of iron again, as usual. Let's get rid of some more of this crushed stone. I want to... Yeah, better better pylons. Gonna need steel, but I can... I'll hopefully get that when I start doing the Jeeva light. Gonna need a lot of iron. Probably more copper than I'm carrying as well. But copper's not being produced all that quickly. I do only have two crushing, two crushers, to be fair. In fact, I only have... <laughs> it's not the crushers, it's these. Let's put in some more of these. It's weird how in this stage of the game you need so much iron and so little copper and then later on it's completely the other way around. At least, as, as, usual, as, as usual, that's in vanilla. Um, I imagine it's maybe the same in Angel Bobs? We'll find out. Okay, let's try and take out this forest because this is annoying. <laughs> start anyway. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, is it coal I'm out of now? Okay. And again, I'm sure using grenades to clear out forests isn't the ideal use of them, but it is so much easier than going through chopping down all the trees manually. And whilst Al's Minecraft Zen videos, where he goes around doing mining on uh, uh, with no talking for hours on end, may be quite popular. I suspect watching me chopping down trees for hours on end would not have the same appeal. Ooh, what's getting damaged? Coming in higher up now, are they? It's interesting. Oh, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> the best thing about getting the first layer at level of um, extra explosive damage research it means it only takes one grenade to go through trees instead of two. Right, that's a, a reasonable way through for now. So, this Jeeva light stuff, that's not a particularly big patch given that it's got 1.2 million in it. Um, granted, I only have 13 drills. I should have thought of that before I started. Let's go and get some more. Mining drills, mining drills. I'm going to need power out here as well, aren't I? I'm going to get big um, big power poles before, and then run the power out with those. Uh, it's not lot. It's nearly going to finish the research very soon, and I don't have to automate the construction of them. I just don't want to run millions of crappy little wooden mining uh, power poles out here. Oh, I might have belts as well. Yeah, I was saying, let's get some explosive damage up. Uh, is that this one? Yes. There we go. That should let me take out a tree with one grenade instead of two. Much easier. Much more efficient. Uh, belts, 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 belts. How much iron have I got? Quite a lot. Not that it's going to be enough, I'm probably going to find out that I need something else, like stone bricks or Swiss cheese or... I don't know. Uh, oh yeah. Do I have any furnaces? Yes. Furnace. Have some fuel, have some iron. What? Okay. How do you make steel? Where is steel? Put the steel plate. There we go. Iron plates and oxygen gas. Okay. <laughs> some sort of electrode. I don't have technology for that. Um, casting machine. Doesn't sound too difficult. Sounds easier than oxygen at this point. Um, or, to, okay. How do I get oxygen then? Electrolyzer. I mean, none of this is technology I have. <laughs> it's purified water. That's another challenge. Um, oh, compressed air. Lovely. <laughs> that doesn't sound. Maybe? Um, no. No. No, back, back, oxygen. No, ways of making oxygen. Heavy water, heavy water. <laughs> okay, so none of these, I can, I am at least able to research this one, but none of these are things I can currently do. Most, this, this one sounds like the nitrogen processing. Uh, and nitrogen processing. No, that one, where do you come from? Okay, so if I get nitrogen processing, then I could do it from there. Or, more realistically, I think, uh, steel plate. That one looks like... Oh, hang on, molten steel. Steel ingot is iron. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back. That's not easier. <laughs> so basically, in order, to, if you have steel, you can make steel. But if you don't have steel, you can't make steel. Oh, oh iron and oxygen, we've been there. Okay. Um, so that's a, a bit of a red herring. So... I can't do this because basically in order to get molten steel uh, in order to get molten steel you basically need to have steel I can can't do that because again you need to have steel in order to get steel that's a bit too circular this one only requires iron and oxygen this requires a use oh a used electrode right that's probably you make an electrode out of steel and something and then you take it apart I don't know um, I don't think that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. So I can't, so can't do that. Can't do that. It's got to be that. So I need to get oxygen gas. This looks like the easiest way to do it. I can compress an air compressor. Doesn't need anything. Just makes, and that comes from nitrogen processing. Just makes compressed air. And then I can, as long as I get chemical chemical factories along along the lines, I can do that. Um, this isn't what I want. Uh, oxygen. Other ways of making, other ways of making oxygen. Ah, uh, heavy water. Heavy water. That sounds. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> uh, or I can... I mean, normally the easier ones are at the beginning, right? Water... Maybe, maybe that's the best way to go. Electrolyzer. That sounds like it needs a lot of power. Um, let's try this... No, let's try this... Where is it? This one. Because that only needs nitrogen processing one. 
Oh, but that needs basic chemistry. Okay, so I'm going to, have to start researching chemistry. So I'll get chemistry 1 and 2 and then nitrogen processing. See how it goes from there. If necessary, I may consider doing... That's basic chemistry. Okay, so this is the one I'm researching. Might try this first. See how it goes. But okay, that's a bigger job than I was expecting. And it's taken me so long to work all of that out, I can't even remember what I wanted the steel for in the first place. Um, nope, not got a clue. Right, let's go back in here then. Let's see. Um, so other things I want to do with this. I need. So here I'm, I'm, I'm mining Jeevalite, aren't I? Yes, Jeevalite. Which doesn't show up for some reason, unless I search for crushed Jeevalite. Then I can find it. There we go. So I crush it in a, in a crusher. That's nice and easy. Exactly the same as everywhere else. Then I put it in an ore sorter. Is there anything else to do with Jeevalite? No, that is all, literally all you can do with it. So you crush it and you get the crushed stuff. Fine. Crush stuff, I can turn into iron, two iron and one copper and, and some slag. Or if I mix it with sapphirite, I get four iron ore. And But I need a catalyst as well. That's sounds like effort. Uh, yeah, let's not do that for now. Or I can mix it with water and get chunks geode. Or I can mix it with everything and get ferrous ore. Right, uh, let's stick with this one. I want to do that one. Basic chemistry 2. And then that gets me. Let's find nitrogen again. Um, <laughs> nitrogen processing is that one. Okay. So, Jeevalite comes in here. Crush. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't. I don't know how to balance this at this point. Um, I guess I'll make some crushers and some. I guess I'll get some. What is it? Stone bricks. That I'm going to be missing for that. Yeah, stone bricks. I'll get a load of stone bricks and I'll build up some crushers and some um, sorters. Oh, it was the electrical poles I wanted the steel for. Damn it, I'm going to have to carry on using the wooden ones. That sucks. Still weirds me out needing, um, uh, needing what do you call it? Uh, needing stone in order to make smel burner furnaces in order to make higher tech oh. machines. <laughs> to have to, to need for a, an ore crusher to need a burner ore crusher feels still feels very strange. Right. Uh, next thing is an ore sorter, and that needs more stone bricks as well. Don't think I need coal, thank you. Okay, let's get that nitrogen thing going. All sorting facilities tend to be pretty fast, I think, based on that that one over there. Um, that's, that's all filled up anyway. I it's because, yeah, that. Right, let's take all of that and put all of that in there. Okay, as much as I can. <laughs> I can put all of this in there. Okay, so I've got my crushers now. Start off with three for no real reason. Do that with them again so I can put the power in. Um, have them feed to an ore sorter. Oh, where's my sorter? There's my sorter. These are the massive things, aren't they? One, two, three. Here. I don't know what I want to do next. Um, sure, let's get some better armour. Oh, I can start my adventures in... Um, Oxygen now, can't I? Steel was iron and oxygen in a chemical furnace. So I need a chemical furnace, and I need the chemical furnace. I need a chemical plant, and I need an air filter. Air filter, Chemi chemical furnace, and chemical plant requires uh, iron and that needs to. Steel. I need steel to make steel. What? Do you... I need fewer of these circular dependencies. Are there not more basic chemical plants like the vanilla one? Um, electrolyzer. Chem... I'm going to have to go with the electrolyzer. I'll come back to that, and I'll for now I'll just run out wooden power poles across here and grumble about it. I guess. Especially I've only got five of them. Okay, power. Okay, that's all powered now. Um, so I've got my mustard rocks coming out here. Let's just run one of these belts over now until I've checked what sort of throughput I've got. And of course I've run out of inserters. I should research better inserters actually, like, like those ones, which will take just two. Right. So I want you sorting my crushed Jeevalite. Um, so I could peel this off here, I guess I might as might as well. Yeah, if I do it beforehand, it's just a bit, it's a bit neater. 
Okay, so we have the crushed, the crushed, crushed stone, crushed stone, crushed stone, coming up here, being sent off all the way down here, right through the middle of this mine. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you're crushing Jesus, right? No, 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 no. This is all good, except, of course, I'm going to run into the usual um, insufficient throughput problem. That, that there, that, that there. Uh, okay, so you're full. Good. I suppose from there, I unload everything onto a belt and um, sort of sort of and I thought I'd more better with all this. Ow. Surprised it took me that long to hurt myself. There we go. <laughs> a bit of space there. Right, let's loop this back again and think for now. And amount of belts as usual. Again. More belts please. That's uh, that one. Unloading. Are they this quick? I don't really know. And again let's have the... Um... Right. Uh, then we do the sorting. Like that. Like that. Um, I should have done this first. So out of the first one we want iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore. Iron ore? Iron ore. They're coming out on the right. Now this one we want Copper or also coming out on the right. Good. So is it oh faster inserters? That's what I wanted. Save me doing things like this. Okay, uh, now I need to bring coal over here as well, don't I? Now I must have coal somewhere nearby. Here we go. Or I could just bring it through from here. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Underground. There. No. Around like that, because I need to have this, that there, and then that there. There we go. No, this way. Bring this back a bit. Okay. Whoosh. Right, uh, what's the clock? Oh, yeah, that's what's clocked. What the warehouse cost. Steel. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Alright, these are these. I'm not really sure how much of this I'm going to produce, so let's do that for now. What can I even do with slag? I can turn it into crushed stone and then just deal with it like everything else. Yeah, right, let's do that. Stone crusher, 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 or crusher. There we go. There. And that's up there. In, out. There's another um, insert a stack bonus, wasn't there? Capacity bonus. Yes. So I'll do that. And then maybe. If I do that one, then it'll make all of my normal inserts a bit more effective. I think that's worth doing. Furnaces, right, okay. That will go there. I need a lot more furnaces. Not that many, probably. Um, oh, no. Belts. Goodness. How many have I got over? How many furnaces can run off a single belt? And oh, no, here I reckon it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's, make it, let's put 10 in just because it's a round number. Isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay, let's do 10s. Now let's the other side. It's not meant to happen. <laughs> Forgot I was on map mode. Up here, same sort of business. Another ten of those. Belt. Link them. Help the belt. 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 Now in theory I'll need another set of these over here. Um, let's make the mining drills better. I don't know. Can I assume that's going to produce... well it is going to produce double. I need to get everything going and then see what my ratios are like, don't I really? That all sort of seems to be running flat out. Uh, I need inserters, lots of inserters. I think I had a box for them, yes I did, there we go. 50. 50! What? Where? Oh no! Where'd they get in from? Stop eating all my mines! I said stop, my god. Ah. Uh, god, bloody hell. <sighs> right. 
Right. Jeez. Seems to have got them all. Right, where'd those blighters come from? Down there, presumably. So I think my next job is, to, is going to be to go off and build a wall across the bottom there to, uh, to protect them, like the rest of my base from them. But I think that can wait until the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.